It's a car. It's a car. The minute you say car, everybody knows what it is. It's this big. It's this high. It's this wide. Tires are there. The door hinges are here. But is that really what the issue is? For those people who maybe all that stuff you care about is meaningless, why should they pay extra for that? Does it have to have those wheels and engines that everybody else has? Or maybe that's just what I need when I'm going from A to B. I'll bring those into play. Right? The rest of the time, it's me. Now Gina showed us as a car from the BMW concept car, Gina, showed us that you could use gesture as a way of expressing a car. Right? What if car design of the future was about that? Car shapes can change then a car designer has to understand how changing shapes represents you as the owner and the driver. So maybe gestures. What happens when the outside of a car, there is no sculpture because it's all display. And a giant television set, okay? What would people do? Would they park two of them next to each other and watch the World Cup on the roofs? Would they let Coca-Cola pay for the parking? You know, well, who cares, you're not in it, right? Now, what would they do? We don't know, but probably the outside isn't a shape then because it can be anything. So maybe information is the new surface. Car design is not about a car. It's about embracing a particular emotional expression that is you in another format that happens to have wheels and take you someplace. So I think if you understand car design as a culture, which is about representation through different forms visually of what the people's values are inside and who they are, then you'll understand it's not automobile design, self-moving, it's about something else.